Hello, everybody. How's everyone doing today? Happy Sunday. How's the weekend been going? I hope it's been going well. My weekend has been... How's it been? Um, it's been pretty good. Not too shabby. Hello, Adriana. Hi. Oh, my uh, controller getting <laughs> tangled up. Um, Rebecca, Amanda, hello. Ken, Eli, Allie, hi. Jesse, Courtney, Izzy, Myra, hello, hello. Courtney playing and lurking, awesome, awesome. What are you up to in the valley today? Cherise, hello. Still have quite a few characters to finish, just started on Stitch yesterday. Oh, nice. Yeah, Stitch is a fun one to finally get. I'm a little bit curious if um, Jack Skellington is going to end up being like Stitch, like some kind of time-gated quest or something. I don't know, but I a little bit have that feeling. Hi, Superchar. Hello. Magical Isabel. Hello. You need to work on biomes before the update too. Your valley is not ready for multiplayer. Listen, mine was ready. And then in typical me fashion, I went ahead and uh, just like bulldozed two whole biomes. And now, <laughs> now uh, we're, you know, we got some stuff we need to do. We got to get some things in order. First time lurker. Hi, Anna. Welcome on in. Where did I find the spirit jersey? This spirit jersey was from the ultimate edition. Hi, Karen. Hi, Leo. Hello, hello. You started to set up a path for your plaza. Amazing. You need to unlock vanilla bee. Oh, yeah. Do that ASAP. Dream snaps. Oh, <laughs> dream snaps are um, a must. If you do nothing else in this game, do dream snaps. Hi, kitty. Hello, hello. Did I see there are two buildings in the desert biome? Yeah, we talked about that um, in our showcase stream, actually. My theory is that uh, the building that was by the archery target, the one that looks more like it's from the Beauty and the Beast movie, I think that one's going to be Gaston's house. And I think the other building that looks like the purple cottage is going to be another cottage that's in the premium shop. Your vid is lagging. Try refreshing um or leaving and coming back if that doesn't work you can try turning down the quality on the stream that might help do i think pirates characters will be added um not really do i think it's possible yes do i think it's likely not really anytime soon i don't think Let's see, where are these other night thorns? I have not been cleaning up night thorns, so we're gonna do this for a little while. And then I'm thinking today we're probably going to decorate in the Frosted Heights. I don't really want to, because I've got Vanellope's house and the Sweet House up there, and they're not my favorite buildings, but it needs to be done sooner or later. You have 10,000 moonstones. Do you get the Ursula bundle or wait and save them for the update? Ooh. Hmm. Definitely up to you. But even if you buy the Ursula bundle, you'll still have 6,000. And we got a couple weeks till the update. So you might be okay. But then again, update day usually is very expensive in terms of moonstones. So I don't know. That's a tough decision. Whatever your heart is telling you would be what I'm recommending <laughs> just got the game and you're loving it any tips for a new player um my tip is to hoard everything don't sell anything except for crops that you plant and harvest that's my biggest tip if anybody else has any other tips for new players you can toss them in chat that would be really helpful i think i have one more biome at least that has some night thorns that we're gonna have to clear You can't get Dream Snaps because of PS5. You should still be able to do it on PS5. It's just your Dream Snaps is in a pool with other PlayStation players. It's not cross-platform. But other PlayStation players, please correct me if I'm wrong. 
but that's what I think. That's what I think. Almost at 10,000 subs. I know we're so close to 10,000 subscribers. It's wild. It took us so long to get from like 8,000 to 9,000. It took a very long time. And then from 9,000 to where we are now, it was like two weeks, <laughs> which is wild. You're leaving the Night Thorns for the update. I sometimes do that, but I sometimes don't. I don't necessarily mind having to wait to complete those things for the Star Path, so usually I just try to keep my valley clean. But sometimes I'll leave it a few days. Usually it's on stream days that I actually go through and clear all of my Night Thorns anyway, so maybe I'll make a make a point to not do that the village looks super cool oh thank you finding it hard to decorate because always out of resources yeah that's very real um initially i was using lots and well i mean initially and also still i was using lots of trees and bushes and all of those like foliage things that you can use for free to decorate that can be super handy when you don't have a lot of resources. Hmm. Can't wait for the update on Skull Rock. Listen, I feel like we're not going to get it until February, which is incredibly sad because I'm also very excited about that. But it's behind the uh, it's behind Mike on the roadmap image. And that update is the late winter 2024 update. And the late winter update we got this year was in February. So we might have a while to wait still. You wish the game would allow us to have three saves so you can start fresh and keep your main without having to buy it again. You can, you can have three saves. You just have to make three different cloud save accounts. You can. Can't wait to see what they're doing with Skull Rock. I know. It's been a long wait already, and it's going to be longer. But hopefully it's worth it. Hopefully it's something really exciting. Busy, hello, hello. Recently joined the community and you're so happy. Amazing. Welcome in. We're happy to have you here. Your brother restarted your game. Wait, like on purpose or on act? I mean, does it matter <laughs> on purpose or on accident? Um, yeah, that would have me a little bit stressed. Oh, you know what I found out, though? Um, this was from, um, hmm. we were talking about this last stream about the expansion pass and how far you're going to have to progress in the main storyline before you can access the expansion pass for people who are just starting. Why is this not working for me? Okay, that was so weird. Um, and Courtney, one of the community managers over on the official Discord, she shared that you will not have to complete the full act one of the story in order to access the expansion pass. So for people who are kind of just starting or... Um, even if you haven't just started and you haven't finished, oops, the whole forgetting storyline, you're still going to be able to access the expansion before that. I don't know exactly when she didn't specify what all you have to complete before that, but it doesn't have to be the whole story. So that's nice to know. February. Yeah, that's my thought. I mean, it's possible we could get it before then, but I don't know. The picture on the roadmap makes it seem like maybe February. Kitty, thank you for being a member for six months. Oh my goodness. Six months. Long time. <laughs> Long time membership. Hmm. Leo, yeah, I think Daisy is the uh, prevailing theory for that vibrant villager in the... That's the early spring update, so that's probably coming in April. Yeah. Seems like Daisy is the best bet. Is that a snowball inside the fountain? I think it is. Hmm. 
found the account recently and have been lurking. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much for hanging out. Oh my goodness. Also, the grad school thing is totally relatable. I've been out of grad school for a little while now, but that is rough. So I hope you're hanging in there. Happy to be some sort of, uh, I don't know, reprieve from the craziness. You wonder where we'll find Jack? Uh, I think, I think this was in the blog post, but it, hmm, no, it absolutely was in the blog post because there's nowhere else that it would have been. Um, in the blog post, there was a line about Jack showing up in the valley and it said something like, keep your eye on the moodiest biome in the valley for hints of Jack's arrival. So I think that's where the Forgotten Lands theory is coming from. Because of all the places, that does seem to be the moodiest. Which is what kind of makes me think it might be like the Stitch Quest, because we might be like finding little clues every now and then, and then eventually he'll show up. Hopefully it's not a long wait like it was for Stitch, but I think it's possible. It's possible. Raquel, welcome to the stream. Thank you so much. We're going to be working on the valley today. Uh, yeah, probably this section over in the Forgotten Lands. Got to get some things done. I'm really just putting off the glade because it's too it's too open and empty. But uh, maybe we'll get to that next time. Hi, RC. Hello, hello. Momo, hello. Welcome to the stream. Ooh, psych homework. That's kind of fun. Well, I mean, I hope it's fun. I took quite a few psych classes in my day, and uh, I liked them. They were fun. Well, fun? Mm. Interesting. Interesting is probably a better word. You wonder if there will be a quest with Donald for Daisy like Scrooge and Vanellope? Maybe. I mean, it seems like the only realms that we have confirmed are the Mulan realm. I mean, the alleged Mulan, <laughs> the alleged Mulan realm and the Monsters, Inc. realm. Um, and the other characters that we're getting, allegedly Daisy, um, Tiana and Jack are going to be coming outside of realms so probably some sort of quest or other they'll just pop up somewhere i guess mike is coming the beginning of the year not the end yeah the beginning of the year but the end of winter the end of winter is like february march getting your master's in clinical psychology oh my goodness my education is all in healthcare and not with a specialty in clinical psychology. That's not for me, but uh, my grad program was pretty small. So I had my program with a lot of psych focused people. It's quite, quite the, uh, quite the path. How do I think Tiana will join us? I don't know, but one thing I do know is that I'm going to be angry if she's a frog. Have we talked about this already? <laughs> I don't remember if we've talked about this, but I'm going to be very upset if she's a frog, even if she turns into a human eventually. Listen, she was a frog long enough in the movie. She deserves to have human legs and not amphibian legs. Am I playing on PC? I am right now, yes. I also play on Switch, but when I'm on stream, I play on PC. Why not? <gasps> Are you kidding me? Wait, this is a tragedy. Why did nobody tell me that this can't go on a path? Okay, well, we're going to have to work on this. A frog? She better not. Right, Mara? I've seen so many people saying that they hope that she comes as a frog and then we have to turn her into a person again. And I'm just like, mm, no, thank you. <laughs> no, thank you. Hmm. Okay. 
We're going to have to have a change of plans here. I, for the most part, want this set up like this. I was going to, like, my original plan was to have a path and then have, like, a square-ish section here that was path. And then have it disconnect somewhere around here and then do maybe the candy pathing path down this way somewhere. But now I need to decide whether I want these tables to be on like a little path section or not. And if I want to move these around anywhere. Hmm. Let's consider. You're so behind on Dreamlight Valley news. Been busy planning your family's trip to Disney in a month. That's so exciting. There's so much Disney news. I'm sure we'll talk about all of it before the end of today's stream because it's pretty, pretty exciting stuff. Hmm. Also, Dreamlight Valley news is like my favorite thing about Dreamlight Valley. Well, hmm. I do love the news. I also love the lore. <laughs> hmm. What's my favorite, though? I don't know. I do always say that pre-update time is my favorite time. Like, I actually prefer the couple of weeks leading up to the update even more than I like getting the actual updates because I like the excitement of knowing that something new is coming and everybody's trying to like guess exactly what it is and we're like getting all these teasers I think that's so fun I feel the thing that's missing obviously is a tree I also think I want a red chest to put over here instead of this one. Wait, isn't who a realm we're getting in the castle? Um, Tiana is not coming in a realm. At least they haven't confirmed that she's coming in a realm. I don't think she is. Do I have a vid about the latest updates? You know, I don't because <laughs> uh, everybody was talking about it, but I reacted to it live um, in a live stream last week, the showcase live stream. If you wanted to watch a VOD full of excitement and also my human face. Um, let's find a chest. Storage. You will not play the game if Princess Tiana is a frog. Listen, I will. But. We're all going to have to have a talk and make sure that everyone's Tiana is a human. Because... I'll be side-eyeing some people if she's not. Okay, let me go make um, a medium red chest. The fountain. It looks more easy to decorate on PC. I definitely prefer decorating with a mouse and keyboard rather than a controller. I do prefer it. The suspense of the update the first is, yes, exactly. I, I love the suspense. I love the excitement. I love the anticipation, the like not quite knowing. It's, it's all a lot of fun. Um, I want one of these. As opposed to my cartoon face. Yeah. <laughs> As opposed to my avatar face. <laughs> Mulan Realm is coming, yeah, allegedly. I mean, it really couldn't be anything other than Mulan, but they haven't quite confirmed that it's Mulan, so. It's nice to put a face to the voice, thanks. Yeah, I think that's always fun. That's how I felt um, seeing Courtney and Ryan in the showcase. Cause uh, Courtney's in the Discord quite a bit and Ryan has been known to show up every now and then. And there are people from Gameloft, so it was really fun to see their faces as well. Because I had only seen their Dreamlight Valley characters. Yes, there we go. A nice festively colored chest there. Let me transfer all of this stuff to there. You're excited for the Mulan realm? I know, me too. In Speedstorm, there's a Mulan inspired track and that looks so good. So that makes me excited for the possibility of how good the Mulan realm could look, if that makes sense. 
Let me put all of these away. You've officially completed your plaza. Should you destroy your meadow now or next update? Whatever you want. Whatever you want. If you're feeling like you want something else to do before the update, then by all means. I fully anticipate that I'm probably going to end up moving everything around again next update, though, because we're going to be getting new buildings new characters, probably new house skins, so if you don't want to redo it now and redo it later, it might be best to wait. Hi Amanda, hello hello! All the surprises the game brings us is awesome. I agree, I love a good surprise. I enjoy being surprised, but I'm horrible at like actually keeping secrets. Or surprising other people like I'm the type of person who um, I always want people to open the Christmas presents that I get them early <laughs> because I'm just really excited to see their reactions I'm not very good at like maintaining the surprise for other people mm, okay what if I put this there? Do I hate this? Yes or no? Not 100% sure. You wish we could do more in the realms, though? You feel like they go wasted afterwards? Okay, wait, but with the new hourglass tool, if you're getting the expansion, the hourglass tool can be used in the realms to find treasures lost in time. So there is a reason to go back. If you pay 30 US dollars. <laughs> Arborita, hello. Brick, hello, hello. Are the medium chests more convenient to build than, long than the larger chests? I think they're technically potentially more resource efficient. I just use them um, in each biome. I have one of the home chests and I use a medium chest just because I never actually fill the medium chest up all the way so I don't really see a point in using the large ones here but this is just for when I'm out foraging in the biomes I can drop everything off and then once it's full I can bring it back and transfer it to my main storage that's sort of how I use that but in my home storage like my main storage I exclusively use the large chests Hi, Amanda. Hello, hello. You have a question. You could do the Halloween event late, but how did you get that many pumpkins? Are they from the store? Wait, the pumpkins that I decorated with? Um, Any of the pumpkins from the Halloween event that you get as rewards, you can buy from Scrooge through the catalog, if that answers your question. Okay, I don't think I hate this. I kind of want to put, like, some more stuff around here. I don't know how to explain it, but I feel like I'll know it when I see it. I feel like barrels are always a good idea, but I also feel like I don't really have the space. Hmm. In which case... Do I want to expand this path further? And then pull this forward kind of onto this a little bit. Maybe. I think I don't mind that that much. If you're getting the expansion, I know you are. Yeah, I know you are. I'm just saying if for, like, anybody else who also had a similar a similar feeling about the realms. I think that's going to be fine. 
Mm-hmm. Do I want to bring this path to the well? Or closer to the well? Oh, yeah. The up balloon. This was from the first star path. Uh, it was called the Pixar Fest star path. I don't know if I'm actually going to end up using it here. But I don't have it out anywhere else in my valley right now. And I really like it as an item. Um, it's not going to be even. So I might not do that. But I feel like when we get the update and I move some people to Eternity Isle, I'm probably going to rework everything. <laughs> I'm probably going to rework everything. And I might try to bring the balloon basket somewhere into the plaza or the meadow. But we'll see. We'll see. Hi, Deja. How are you? You're trying to take advantage of it raining in your valley and it stopped as you planted your last pumpkin. I mean, honestly, that's amazing timing. Actually, hold up. Wait, can I grab you? Um, can I grab you? No. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, there we go. Maybe I could put this item here, actually. Maybe I can make it work in this little cutout corner area. Who am I putting on that island? Well, I'm not using it as an exile. Um, because I think it looks too pretty. I know I've seen a lot of people saying that they're going to, like, send Maui there or, I don't know, other people they don't like. Donald, I don't know. Um to get them away from them, but I might move my main house there, honestly, at least for a little while. I'm definitely going to move Mirabelle over there, I think. I think I want to have both Wally and Eve over there. I might move... Oh, wait, who was I just thinking of? Oh, Buzz? I might move Buzz over there. Mm hmm. Other than that, I'm not sure yet. I kind of want to use one of these. Hmm. I feel like I need a fence, though. We need more fence options. How would one feel if they put back certain star path items, but in the premium shop? Listen, I don't know if I'm allowed to share my opinion on that. <laughs> I don't know if I want to get into all that. <laughs> I feel like we talked... When did we talk about that? Oh, wasn't that like... Maybe that was on our member stream. I talked about that a little bit. I feel like that's been a, a hot button issue. Uh, kind of always, but especially now that the game is coming into full release. A lot of people have been sharing a lot of strong opinions about it. You put the hot air balloon and Ferris wheel on the beach by the boardwalk. Oh, that's kind of nice. That would, yeah, that would be nice. I just feel like I never have enough room on my beach for anything. Like, it's full. It's such a weird, narrow shape that it makes it hard to fit a lot of stuff over there. And so many of the houses, I feel like, belong on the beach. I think this could be fine. I think that could be fine. Let me just make sure I can access everything still. I'm putting you on the aisle. Wait, what, kitty? You're working on the Ursula bundle? Amazing. Are you enjoying it so far? Hmm, I might push it back just a little bit. I'm gonna push this back just a teensy tiny. Tippy tappy tip tap more. Like, maybe this much. Do we like the one from... Oh, wait, no, we do need more. Like, the one from the Mushroom Manor. I love the fence on the Mushroom Manor. It's so cute. I would definitely love to have that. As a usable fence. Hmm. Big 
Favorite biome and least favorite biome. Um, you know, I don't know if I have a favorite biome or a least favorite. Uh, yeah, no, I like all of the biomes. I just get very different vibes from them, but I don't know that I have like a specific ranking for them at all. I'm just like casually spending as much time as I can on this section because I'm <laughs> I don't know what I want to do over here and I don't really enjoy these house like okay here's the thing about this house I'm aware I spent my own moonstones on this house I didn't have to get it if I didn't want it however I want all of the houses <laughs> and this one is like designed so well that I kind of try to look past the fact that I don't like the actual style of it if that makes sense but and also, I feel like it makes it a little bit less obnoxious having Vanellope's house because at least we have one thing that goes with it, sort of. But I don't know. Still not my thing. Not my favorite. The balloon is so cool. You never got it. It's a nice item. It's just very large. We have a lot of very large items that I think are kind of difficult to integrate into designs sometimes. Okay, you know what I kind of want to do? I think... I almost want to move this house back a tiny bit. Let me move these trees. Hi, Emerald. How are you? You feel like we'll be spending a lot of time on the new island, so if people move Maui, uh, then we'll be seeing him more. That's how I feel, too. Yeah, I mean, there's going to be so much story and stuff happening, so many new things to forage on Eternity Isle. I do think people are going to be spending a lot of time there. So, yeah, you might be getting a little bit, a little bit closer to Maui than you anticipated <laughs> if you do send him over there as some sort of punishment hi Kristen. hello how are you oh you just got vanellope and you don't know where to put her house any ideas i used to have her in the glade i had her tucked back all the way um so if you've seen my valley tour i used to have the glade totally overrun with trees and stuff um now it's empty because I took everything down and needed to redecorate it. But I used to have the sweet house right here um, coming off of Gothel's Island. Oh my goodness. Imagine me being able to get where I need to be. I had the sweet house right here, right off of this bridge. And then I had Vanellope's house kind of right here. And it was sort of enclosed in the purpley trees. I thought that was nice because I didn't have to look at it all the time. And now I'm moving her up here to the Frosted Heights. The candy cane trees drive you bonkers. You love the design, but the footprint is ridiculous. I agree. Also, my game is doing that thing where it's really silent. I'm going to grab one of these, and we're just going to vibe to some music, I guess. Or try to. Maybe. Do I have to turn it on? Michelle, have the devs still said that recently? I haven't seen them say it recently. Anything? I think my game is broken. Interesting. Okay, well, you know what? <laughs> it's just gonna be ambient Dreamlight Valley sounds and my voice for a little while. Hopefully the music will come back eventually. And if not, well, well, it is what it is. Undo. You have the hardest time decorating around Vanellope's house. I agree. I agree. I also do. Was the cursed cave where we found Ursula? I believe so. Okay, I do want to pull out some of the candy cane houses. I can't remember if I audibly responded to your comment about them, Kitty, but... 
I agree. Um, they look pretty. They're very annoying. Where do I have them? You know what? Time to pull up the wiki. The footprint on them is just like way, way, way too big. Candy cane tree. Candy tree. Hmm, tree. <laughs> Uh, three limb tree, 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 tree. None of this is the thing that I want. What is this item called? Does anyone know off the top of their head or where it's located? Your game's been playing It's a Small World for two hours now. Um, are you by the pillar, man? The Small World pillars emit that song very, very loudly. So it could be because of that. Let's put these on either side of this for now as well. Just casually block um, the front of that house a little bit. And then I might actually put these like a little path entering the backyard sort of situation. I might do that. Do I want to give her like a little, I mean, her being me in this case, little back patio moment. Can filter. Oh, wait, they're under Wreck-It Ralph. Are they? Oh, they are. Thank you. I didn't know they were under Wreck-It Ralph. I don't know why. I just thought that they wouldn't be. Oh, wait. That one's actually cooperating with this fruit tree. That's unheard of. Usually, like, these have the biggest footprint. And usually you can't put anything on them, near them, anything like that. But that one was letting me there. And that one would let me there, too. What is this witchcraft? Okay, I'll take it. In the U.S. I am in the U.S., yes. Um, I can... I'm not... <laughs> I don't feel in a position to be able to provide advice, though, on relocating pros and cons. But I do live in the U.S., Okay, there we go. That's not too bad. Let's see if we can get one in the backyard of the candy house. Like one of these ones, maybe? You like the back patio idea? I think I like it. It's probably going to be more difficult now, though, if I do put this tree back here. We'll see what we end up doing. We'll think about it. We got some options. I'm actually really annoyed that there's no music, though. What if I go into a realm and come back out? Let me do that. You're struggling decorating Sunlit Plateau. I feel like Sunlit Plateau is a bit difficult. Um, we don't really have a lot of um, homes that really look like they belong there. So I feel like there ends up just being a bunch of space. Okay, there's music here. I think. There is. Okay, now what if I leave? Um, yeah, so I feel like a lot of Sunlit Plateau for me felt empty. So I ended up turning half of it into a jungle. And that worked pretty well. Okay. There we go. I fixed it. <laughs> I fixed it. Hi, Ellie. How are you? Are you excited for the update? Uh, yeah, so excited. It's coming on December 5th. Um, and that feels like it's a long way away. It's like 23 days, 22 days, something like that. So feels kind of far still, but really it's right around the corner. Very much looking forward to multiplayer. I think that's the thing I'm most excited about in the free update. Um, but Jack Skellington is pretty cool as well. Not mad about that. Okay, sweet. <laughs> Not the bad unintentional pun. Uh, sweet. I have to make sure I can still get to these mining rocks. So let me put down some of these rocks, maybe. Thank you all for 58 likes on the stream, by the way. And if you're hanging out, having a good time, and haven't pressed the like button yet... 
please do. <laughs> it really helps the channel out a bunch. I might put these like here. And then put this like here. I might end up moving these. But usually if I'm decorating in an area, sometimes I can be a bit oblivious sometimes. So I like to put rocks down to make sure I don't close myself off from mining nodes. I think I can still get to that one. Let me check. What did I do for Dream Snaps for this week? This week is the one that I'm least pleased with, probably. The picture itself is not bad, but it's just not anything special, I don't think. Uh, this is mine for this week. Um, yeah, it's the garden. It's an outfit, and Wally is there, so that's cute. But I don't know. This week, I just was not feeling overly inspired. Tried a couple things, didn't love them, and... Uh, we ended up with something that is cute, but definitely not my best work. Okay. We're gonna bring this this way. And then maybe I'll also bring it this way. And maybe also this way. <laughs> I don't know. Something like that? I don't think I can bring this. Oh, I can, but it's going to overlap there. And that's a little strange. And that's going to be off center if I do that. Hmm. You know what, for now... I hate that. Um... Or do I? I don't know. For now, we're moving on. We'll figure out the exact path situation in a bit. The update is a day after your birthday. Nice. Also, hello, Ignis. How are you? Okay. Oh, I forgot to put a poll. Um, need to see if anybody has any recommendations for what we should play tomorrow. Because we're streaming Dreamlight Valley today and on Wednesday, as we usually do. Tuesday is Coral Island's release day. So Coral Island is making a comeback on the channel. And we're going to be starting a save there. Um, what should we play on stream tomorrow? We can do a new game, or we can do a channel throwback. And that'll help me kind of narrow it down. Wish there was a way to salvage paths and get resources back. Honestly, yes, getting resources back would be amazing. We were playing Fey Farm on the channel. We just finished up the main story last week. And in that game, you can uncraft items to get the resources back. And it's amazing. Absolutely amazing. Do I want this in... You know what? I think I will bring this candy path all the way... back here and that'll just be what we have on this half of the biome I think I think that's gonna be good can't post a pick and chat no you can't but um we do have a community discord actually I think my stream labs bot isn't working right now uh, but there is an invite link you can join in the description box of the stream if you wanted to join our community discord where there's a channel to post your dream snap stuff. Yes, I think that's good. I'll find something to put here or we'll center that one or the other. What games am I playing off stream? Um, I started playing a game called Beacon Pines a little bit. 
Other than that, I don't really have any games I'm playing off stream at the moment. Oh, wait, no, that's a lie. <laughs> that's a lie. Uh, just today and yesterday, I spent multiple hours in The Sims 4. Um, I think I just forgot because uh, all of those hours were spent in Create a Sim. So it didn't really feel like I was actively playing, if that makes sense. But yeah, um, I am a little bit trying to revive my love of The Sims. I'm kind of excited about the expansion pack that they have coming soon. So yeah, trying to get back into that a little bit. Hmm, now I feel like I need to bring this one, one skinnier and do that maybe. Oh, Streamlabs is working, perfect. Thank you, Kitty. You want to make storage rooms for the new biomes, but you have no idea how to theme them. Oh my goodness. I don't know what I'm going to do about my storage rooms. Once we get the new um, Eternity Isle. Because we can swing by in a little bit, but all of my storage rooms are full pretty much. So I don't know how I'm going to make room for new resources. I really, really don't. You know what? All things considered, this is not going to be as hot of a mess as I thought. Well, uh, as I thought it was going to be. It'll be okay. One, is this three? One, two, it is. Okay. I don't think I want it to be thicker than that. So I think I'll just bring it that way. Yeah, that should be fine. Did I finally finish my Sims? Well, here's the thing. So I was making some Sims yesterday in Create a Sim. And I was having a great time with it. And then yesterday after I was designing the Sims, I watched a speed build for a spellcaster mansion. And then I decided that in fact, I wanted to play with spellcasters and vampires. So then today I was in Create a Sim, <laughs> creating entirely different Sims, um, of which one family I've completed and the other family is still a work in progress. So long story short, no, and also yes. Okay, this is fine. Let's get another one of those. Ooh, I was going to get one of the red candy canes to put over here because it would match this better, but I feel like I need a purple one to tie it in. So let's do that. Yet to do all of the Vanellope biome decor stuff, so it's, or it's just so out of place. I agree. We don't really have any place that I think it looks great. Or looks like it's super meant to go. But you know what? We make do. We get creative. And we try to find something that's going to work. My only issue with putting this tree here is I don't know if it's going to get in the way of my ability to do what I need to do over here. Let me check. New, hello, hello. Ooh, have a good time modding. Thank you for stopping by and I hope you're having a wonderful day. What have I done with the 20 floors of my house? Um, they are not all decorated. I pretty much just have the first floor and the 20th floor decorated because I've been doing a lot of interior decorating but it's been in the premium shop houses. My goal besides finishing the biomes that I have to before the update is to have all of the rooms in all of the premium shops decorated or all of the premium shop houses. So like I've been working on this one, we did this one and we did like we've got an Elsa one here. I'm almost done. I think I have 11 rooms left between all of the premium shop houses. This is the one we did on our member stream on Friday and it's nice and cozy. I love a library. Uh, so that's what most of my interior decorating has been recently. This one I don't think is done yet. No, it's not. That one needs to be decorated still. But eventually I want to decorate my main house. But I don't really have a specific goal in mind for it. 
I think it's more fun decorating the premium shop houses because you can like go really heavily in with themes. So I've been having a good time with that. Okay, this is where the well spawns us. So let's make sure we're still going to be able to, yeah, we're going to be able to get through here and probably this way too. Yeah, so that's going to be fine. We can leave that candy cane tree there. I kind of want to put one here. Will it fit? Let's check. You're excited for the for rent expansion pack? Yeah, I'm excited. Like, really excited, but also I don't really exactly know what it's going to do for us. Because it kind of seems like not much. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. It's like really fun in theory. But I don't know if it's actually going to end up being as impactful as I hope it will be. I guess we're just using all of the candy cane trees. Which isn't a bad thing. Honestly, it's probably a good way to make everything feel more like it belongs. Um, you go there for a second. You go there. Wait, what won't stop? You just got the bioluminescent tree in the shop. Oh, is that the, um, like the palm tree one? That's a really fun one. There we go. And why do I feel like we need one more over here? Not the 10,000 candy cane trees. Um, straight purple candy cane tree. Why has it got to be straight, though? Oh, it's a small world. Oh, wait. Are you by one of the pillars? Either the regular one or the, like, fancy colorful one? Slash, do you have them out? in the world you think we need a premium houses tour like now or like a video we could do either so here's the thing i do have a tour up of my palace dream style or like house my palace house but the video didn't perform very well i was gonna make it a series and do like a tour of all of them but then i was like mm. <laughs> I don't know if the people want to see this. So then I was thinking maybe once all of them are decorated, then I'll just do a tour of like every house in one video. Because I think that might be more up people's alley. You're not by the pillars. Do you have them out in your valley though? Can you try turning them off? Because I think there's a bug with the pillars where if you have them out in the valley anywhere and the sound is on, um, then you can hear the music anywhere you go. So maybe try turning them off, like interacting with them and turning them off and see if that helps. Oh, just in general when I have time. Yeah, we can definitely make that happen at some point. I do really like the premium shop houses that we've decorated. Mm, okay, now upon further consideration, I feel like this tree is blocking the view of the house too much. And maybe I need to move it. You enjoyed the house tour video? That's good. I mean, definitely some people watched it and I got some very nice comments on it and everything, but just based on the analytics in YouTube studio, it was like, girl, <laughs> your audience wasn't feeling this one. And I was like, okay, alrighty, <laughs> good to know. Okay, that's better. Listen. I know I kind of hate these houses, but this actually doesn't look that bad. And we're not even done yet, so I feel like we can really bring it together. Okay. 
Okay. I kind of want one of the ice cream stalls. Maybe right here. Do we have a pink one? Wait, what about your Alice Tea Party World, Kitty? Speaking of that, though, I really... The more I think about it, the more I really, really want Alice in Wonderland characters, and specifically an Alice in Wonderland realm. Hmm, now I wonder if that's too much, though. Too much pink. What other colors do we have? I know we have blue. What about this light blue? I feel like the light blue... I don't know how I feel about that one. We have a red one? What do we think about the red one? You hide for a second. Yeah, that's fine. The red is kind of fun. Do we prefer this or do we prefer the pink one? Let me know. I'm going to leave the red one for now. Okay. What other fun things could we put here? Do we have any other Wreck-It Ralph items that are... Or Toy Story. Mm, I feel like maybe either of those could potentially have something for us. Oh, we definitely need Vanellope's car. We could do the little food stall counter. That, um, I mean, we could, but should we? I don't know. Undecided. You pop here for a second. Oh, thank you so much, Yana. That's so sweet. <laughs> thank you all so much for the 71 likes so far. And if you are having a good time, please do press the like button. Helps the channel out heaps and bunches. We could at least do some of the Toy Story blocks around Woody's house, I think. Hmm. You have the donut chairs we could use for like a sitting area or something. Maybe in the backyard. That might be kind of fun. Oh, you have the pillars in your tea party room, not in the world. Oh, okay. Oh, I don't know how it impacts things if it's inside your house, but seems like it might. There's that. I feel like I need... more foliage, but the thing about having, like, a candy area is what do you use for foliage? doesn't really make sense to have a bunch of regular trees mixed in with the candy cane trees. Oh, I only have two of those? What is that called? Half cup chair. Okay. I need to write that in my phone so I don't forget to pick up extras. Red, you think? I think I like the red as well. The pink was cute, but I think the pink, like, matched in too much with the house. Um, okay. Half cup chair. You think you used Forgotten Land's purple things? I could definitely do that. With this, I think we have some bushes that are kind of a similar color to this like mint green sort of situation so we might be able to use some of those we're all mad down here i mean i know i am so <laughs> honestly i think uh yes alice in wonderland representation would make me feel quite seen Oh, I also need Vanellope's car. 
I think I mentioned that before, but how could I possibly forget that? Where does it go, though? That's the question. I mean, I could put it over here, but it's not really going to be like... In the thick of things. Maybe if I pull this this way, like it's a little parking spot for her. Mm, I don't know. Don't we have a cone from the Wally collection, maybe? We could put a couple cones over there. The pink was too much. Red plays off the red tiles in the road. That's true. You're looking in your Forgotten Lands, and if we find Jack there, you're so confused as to where he would be. It's so dark. I don't know that he's just going to pop up. I'm, well, I mean, I think actually he very well could pop up out of nowhere. But I mean, I think eventually we're going to find like a clue on the ground or something. That we're going to have to pick up and bring to Merlin and be like, what's this? Well, which is, I guess, a very Jack thing to say. And then Merlin's going to be like, oh my goodness, once upon a time. And then tell us the tale of Jack Skellington. And then we're probably going to have to track him down. Or like, he's going to show up eventually. That would be my guess. That would be my guess. Some of the sunlit plateau oranges as well. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Let's see. Hello? <laughs> what? You're telling me the bushes can only be used indoors. That's so very rude. Uh, do these Frosted Heights ones look? These might be fine. Let me just grab out a couple options and see what, what might work. Yeah, I feel like these light green ones, like these really pale ones, might work. Not quite the Glade ones. But that Glade one would be fine. Do I want... Mm, maybe a couple of the purples. I don't know if I want, like, too much of this, though. Alice in Wonderland is your fave. Wait, really? What's everyone's opinion on the live action Alice movies? Like the Tim Burton ones? Are we a fan or are we not a fan? I think I saw the second one, but I don't really remember it. And to be honest, I also don't really remember the first one that much, which <laughs> might be telling. I don't remember disliking them, though. I just feel like they weren't very memorable to me. This music is actually kind of a nice change of pace from the silence and or just like the regular background music in the game. I want a larger bush. That's the same size. There we go. What's going to be blocking the thing? Do I care? Mm, I don't know. The little robo voice is a little disconcerting, though. Yes to the Tim Burton live action. I need to rewatch those eventually. Ooh, you know what I feel like I could also use around here? Some of those little uh, plushy snowmen blobs. <laughs> Not blobs. <laughs> you know what I mean. What are those even called? Oh, the little snow plushies. Okay. 
Okay. I need a couple more purple plants, I think. But probably not over by Vanellope's. Her house is already kind of darker. Hmm, what do I want to do here? This is a lot of space. Maybe like a little seating area with like a bench or something? That might be kind of cute. Is it a sizable size for a gazebo? Do I have any gazebos? I feel like I went through and built, like, crafted a bunch of things recently. So I might. 17? Why did I make that many gazebos? But also, that's not that surprising. It's too small of a space. You don't love Alice in Wonderland to begin with? That's okay. It's totally fine. Okay. That purple bush needs to be larger. Yes, we'll use that one instead. You thought the robot voices were Animal Crossing characters this entire time? Oh my goodness, are you playing Animal Crossing right now? Is that why? I think it's just supposed to be like the fictional radio host in the game. Yeah. <laughs> in between songs just like giving us the rundown on what's next which is kind of cute alternatively we could move Vanellope's car over here it would be part of the way in here though or we could put it like that mm, no I think I want to put a seating area there let's find a bench You think it's just the snow plushies? I think you're probably right. Such a simple name, but for some reason I always forget what it is. This could be cute. Oh my goodness. I saw the moving horses on the carousel out of the corner of my eye and I thought there was a bug or like a creature or something and I got so scared. Yeah, I think that'll be cute. Just plop a couple bushes in there. Make it feel nice and snug. Not that snug. Maybe flip flop you that way. Well, okay. But maybe you move that way. No, not the house. What about a bear chair? Hmm. I don't know if I want the bear chairs here. I actually have gotten a lot more use out of the bear chairs than I thought I would. But I usually use them... Um, like in little tavern builds. I think that's kind of a fun spot for them. Eh. Let me run around for a second. 17. Yeah. <laughs> well, here's the thing. I think I went through. Wait, why are you here? Um. Yeah, listen, I don't know why I have 17. I could try to explain it, but it still wouldn't make sense. So we'll just we'll just accept that that's the way that I am. Also, I don't know that we should be surprised. I'm wondering if I should do like if I should try to connect this or like bring this all the way here. I don't really hate that. And we could, I don't know. Pop some rocks on it. Why did that make me think of? <laughs> but 
<laughs> oh my goodness. Does anybody watch the show Blackish or did you watch the show Blackish? Put some Uvo on it? I don't know. <laughs> good times. That show is so good. The bear chairs remind you of Brave. I heard a lot of people say that, but they are in the Tangled movie. You need to watch Mulan before update day. Definitely before we get the Mulan update, but I think it's always a good time to watch Mulan. I think I dislike these more than I dislike just having this up here. Does the poll keep popping up for anyone else? Oh, I can just exit out of it. It probably does keep popping up. I think that's a YouTube thing, honestly. Like every few minutes, it'll pop up. Okay, new game. Hmm. I'll have to see what new games I have that might be fun. I haven't played Spiritfarer yet, and I have that one. I haven't played Kena Bridge of Spirits yet. That one looks beautiful. It looks like a Pixar movie as a game. Which is kind of my vibe, not gonna lie. Hmm. Is it weird to have this ice cream stand without, like, a place to sit to eat the ice cream? I'm not sure yet. I don't know. Oh, we also have the lollipop trees. I didn't even think about that. We also have the lollipop ones. How do you get to the second floor of your house? Oh, that's going to be harder for me to explain than it is going to be for me to show you. So we'll just take a mini hiatus and I'll pop back to my house and show you. Once you have access to it, um, right when you go into your house... There's going to be an elevator to your left. I guess this isn't that hard to explain, actually. There's an elevator right here. And if you click expand house, it's going to bring you to all of the floors that you have. And then you can just pick which one you want to go to. And you can just pop up there. I definitely understand that, Rebecca, but I think that's part of the reason why or like I don't know that's part of the incentive to get the cozy edition so it makes sense how they did it that way but it definitely is not convenient must play spirit fair it's the cutest most heartstrings tugging game ever listen that's what I've heard everybody who talks about spirit fair says literally the best things about it so I feel like I need to play it I don't know why I've put it off for so long I've had it for well, I've wanted to play it for over a year and a half, and I've had it for many, many months. So I just, I don't know why I haven't gotten around to it yet. Probably because I've just been busy with all the other games that we've had going on. Your baby is due in eight days. Oh my goodness. Want to take a vote if she'll be on time. Um, is this your first baby or no? That's going to influence my answer. This is kind of my thing, by the way. I don't know if you all knew that I used to deliver babies for a living. Turned off the pillars. They're still playing the song. Oh no. Have you tried turning off your game and like turning it back on again? This is right up my alley. Exactly. Hi, Grace. Hello, hello. You finally finished your plaza. You're in love currently doing the meadow now. Amazing. That's like the best feeling when you finish a build and you love it. It's a bit of a rare one for me, or at least like not right away. It takes me a little while to actually warm up to whatever I decorated, which you all probably know. I'll decorate something and I'm like, okay. <laughs> 
I'm like, it's done anyway. And then it takes like a couple days for me to actually really like it. And then I do the thing where I'll just run around through it constantly because I really like it. Like the rooms that we decorated on stream on Friday. I just really love those rooms now. So every now and then I'll just pop in my game just to like run to look at the rooms quickly. Third baby. Ooh, if it's your third baby, I think it'll be before your due date. Not a guarantee, but statistically speaking, more likely than not. Maybe we want one in the yard as well. Maybe over here. Sure. Hi, Mickey. How are you? Okay, wait, listen, hang on for a second, because why is this actually kind of looking cute? I feel a little bit mad about it, actually. <laughs> And like, hmm. Okay, all right. Used to be a midwife? Yes. <laughs> I mean, technically, I, I mean, I could be still. But I don't work in that area currently. But yeah, that's what I went to school for for too many years. Far, far too many years. Okay, we'll pop this one back here. Beautiful. I think I want that there. And I think we should try to find some of those uh, snow plushes now. Plushies. I don't know. Whatever they're called. From the Frozen collection. Do I have any? Did I use all of them? Snow... What are these called? Snowgees plushie? Okay. Let's go with it. Why not? I'm going to need to buy some extra ones of these. There we go. Mm, I kind of want to move this one. Over here, maybe? Actually, can it go behind here? No, why not? <laughs> why not? Okay, I'll leave it there then. Maybe this one will move back here. There we go. Smart and talented. Thank you. Appreciate it. You want to see a pic of the house we get for Jack? Yeah, I'm so curious to see which one we'll get. Okay, let me go buy a couple more of those. But I think we're almost done with this area. I need to like do something right here because this is very empty at the moment. But we got this nice, just like, straight walkway situation. Little ice cream stand. Vanellope's house with her little candy car parked out front. Oh, we also need to do whatever we're going to do back here. Oh, I need to move this bush. It's in the way. It's in the way. It's still going to be in the way there. Can you move back more? No. Well. Oh. That'll work. You're back. Welcome back, Myra. Looks like I made some progress. It looks great so far. Thank you so much. Yeah, definitely made a fair amount of progress. And so far, I'm a lot more pleased with it than I thought I was going to be. Which is, you know, 
pleasant surprise. In the UK, you're predominantly midwife led for OB care. Yep. Yeah. The US is not like that. However, there's been a lot of studies recently that show that things would probably be a little bit better if that were the case. So midwives have been growing in popularity a lot over here. Also, they're cheaper for like hospitals and things like that. I don't know. I could nerd out about that kind of thing for a long time, but I will spare you all. <laughs> I will spare you all. Uh, let me grab a few of why are they not under decor? That's so rude. Um, frozen. Let me just buy three of these, I think. And let me also grab those Toy Story chairs while I'm here so I don't forget. I'll buy two of them. Do I have the pink ice cream stand? I do. We tried the pink ice cream stand, but... Um, I think the red one looks a little bit better. The pink one was kind of blending in too much with the sweet house that we had. So I think the red one's a nice bit of contrast. When the update comes in December, is that when all of us that have played are going to get the new critter and stuff for being early access? The cosmetics from the gold edition? So the last thing they said about that was that the timing of when we're going to get it is going to be announced eventually. <laughs> so I don't know if we're getting it right away or what. They haven't announced that yet. But all of the founders will be getting those cosmetic items. We'll just have to wait and see when. I think I want another thing of these blocks from the Toy Story collection over here yeah that should fill up that area a little bit and then ooh, we could have some of the aliens if we wanted Maybe, why not? Um, I kind of want this back here somewhere. Well, I kind of want it like a table between these two, even though I think it's technically a chair. And that's fine. And then, do I just want to bring more? Of just the regular Frosted Heights greenery around here. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I will do that. Your midwife was wonderful. You usually see a nurse practitioner when possible. Yeah, I've worked with lots of midwives and nurse practitioners and doctors and... Just depends sometimes, but it's nice having all of the different types of providers because they all specialize in slightly different things. Let me put that there. And maybe I can even bring a couple of the purple ones. I just don't want them to be super visible from like the entry of the biome. What about a rock? I don't really want to use a giant rock because I don't want to affect my ability to actually move around this area. Maybe I'll just use that. I don't know. I just don't want this area to feel so empty. Anyone know if the people on Game Pass who got it will get the items? You should, yes. I think I, I read that on the FAQs. Or somewhere, you will get the cosmetic items from the gold edition. You're also in the process of redecorating your biomes. Your meadow is a mess right now. Oh my goodness. You redecorated your house and you're loving how it turned out. Amazing. Wait, is your house in the meadow? We redecorated the meadow on last stream. Not like completely redecorated, but um, 
we had to move some things around. Okay, let's see. Yeah, that looks fine from here now. I might stick some of those little, one of those little snow plushies over here as well. And then we gotta figure out what exactly we're doing in the backyard. No, not white. What? Frozen. Oh no! I'm so mean. Okay, go there. That's fine. Um, and then this, I kind of want to bring this pathway, I think, like, so... Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh no. No, that's fine. Um... I think it's fine. And maybe bring this around like this. It's just gonna be a very oddly shaped sort of back patio area. When decorating, how do I make sure I still have the biome flowers and such still pop up throughout? Um, I make sure I don't collect them before I start decorating. So I have all of mine. Wait, where do I have mine? Oh, I also have all of mine in this biome in one area. They're all over here. So yeah, I leave mine there. And if I know I'm going to be decorating a biome... I will pick up all of the, like, herbs because you can't move those in furniture mode, but I leave all of the flowers and then I'll just, like, move them out of the way to make sure I still at least have enough space for them to pop up. But usually I like putting them in a area, like a specific area, unless I'm making something like a meadow with a bunch of flowers like I did here. But even then, they're all still in this area. Um... And that helps make sure that they're all going to pop up. I mean, they won't pop up here if I pick them. They'll just scatter about, but... I know I at least have the right number. Hmm. I don't know. What should we do back here? I kind of liked this the idea of having... the chairs, but I don't know what else we would do. Hmm. Your house is currently in your plaza and your purple cottage is in the forest. Oh, nice. Also, hi, Mickey. Hello. How are you? Ooh, also, are you excited about Coral Island fully releasing on Tuesday? I know you're a Coral Island fan. Um, what table do we want? Probably not this one, but I'm going to put that one there for now. I think I do want a circular one, though. Do we have just like... Oh, we could maybe do this one. Yeah, let's maybe do this one. You made a little boba bar in your Frosted Heights across from Vanilla Bees. Oh, that's cute. I know you're excited. You can finally put... Ooh, yes. Put a ring on Cam. Oh my goodness. I don't think I knew that was who your number one choice was for romance in Coral Island. The fact that now we'll be able to, like, actually progress that far in romantic relationships in Coral Island gives me a little bit of anxiety because I haven't decided who I want my main boo to be yet. I don't know. I think I'm actually going to make it like this, and I might try to put some bushes back here instead. Hmm. What about... These Frosted Heights ones. Ooh, wait, can I fit another one? Can they just be really cozy and snug and next to each other? No. 
Um, what if I move this a little bit? Wait, I don't think I can. No, all of my dreams have been crushed. Um, okay. Wait, can this move further? No. All right, well... In that case... That's very rude and very mean. But I guess I will just put those like that. Actually? Whoa! I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> Let me not. She, you, and your pet Luna are gonna be one happy family. Oh my goodness, who is my number one on the island? I don't know. I really like... I like too many of the NPCs in Coral Island. I really like Kenny. I like Eva. Um, I like the quiet ones. <laughs> Um, I like Leah, even though she's really mean. And I like Pablo, even though he flirts with other people in front of us. <laughs> Those are... <laughs> Pablo and Leah are my problematic faves. And Eva and Kenny and Nina are my unproblematic faves. We might actually be able to bring this little uh, stereo we've been listening to, or radio rather into this area. That might be cute. Maybe we'll move this. Oh, not you. You've never been able to catch a stream. You can't stay long, but you are just popping in. Well, welcome in, Lolo Bunny. There we go. I don't know. Maybe we don't need anything fancy. Maybe we can just have that. Maybe we can put our own personal ice cream thing back here, actually. That might be kind of cute. We can walk out front to get ice cream, or we keep the good stuff in the back. And this one can be pink. Because why not? I want to make like a little something and put it up there. Maybe some cookies or some boba tea or something. Why are you still here? You wish candy cane tree footprint wasn't ginormous. Exactly, right? Don't let me treat, or don't let them treat me like that. I deserve better. Listen, I know. I just can't help it. Pablo and Leah, I don't know. Something about them. Maybe... Do I want to make the Wonderland cookies? That might be kind of cute. Let's do that. Hi, Prib. How are you? You think most of us will put Jack in the Forgotten Lands? He'll love it there? Probably. That would be my guess. I'm very curious to see what his house looks like. The Forgotten Lands actually, I feel like, is kind of tricky to decorate because of the way that everything is laid out, especially with the, um, the treehouse not being able to be moved. Makes it more difficult to decorate over there. There we go. Some nice cookies. Need a Dreamlight ice cream? We do have ice cream, but I don't know if I want that on the table. Let me see what the ice creams that we have look like. I can remember what the snow cones look like, but the rest of it... It's just flown out of my brain. You're putting jacket in Frosted Heights? Ooh, that could be fun. Actually, you know what? Give me a second. I'm going to quickly Google this. We've talked about this every stream since we found out that we were getting Jack Skellington. I don't know what his house looks like. Jack Skellington house. I'm Googling. Oh. Oh, okay. I don't know why in my brain this was the place where um, Sally and her creepy guy lived. Interesting. 
Oh, we have these ice creams. Hmm. Oh, or we have this. Actually, this might be a nice one. We'll see which one we like better. You wish you could put Ursula in the Forgotten Lands because you'd love to have it as your villain biome and you'd love to put Mother Gothel there too. Yeah, I really wish one of the ponds was big enough to fit Ursula. I don't think they are. Actually, are they? I don't think they are. I probably would have moved her up there if they were. Hello, Messine. How are you? Things are going pretty well. We're just finishing up decorating in the Frosted Heights. It's going pretty well, honestly. Sure, we'll go with that. But you know what? We'll leave these on the ground. Why not? Why not? Her creepy guy. Stop. <laughs> yeah, her creepy guy. <laughs> Need to watch the old Mickey cartoons, but what does Daisy's house look like? I don't know that Daisy has like a very specific house type that she always has. I don't know, though. I think we determined that she didn't have a house in Toontown. So I'm not sure what her place is going to look like. Okay, I think we're done. We're going to do a walkthrough. Let me know if there's anything else that we should add. But I feel like everything's pretty fine. You have Ursula in your glade. Yeah, that's where I have her as well. But I would prefer to move her to the Forgotten Lands if we could. Mm, do I want to put bushes around this? I don't think I can. I don't think I have enough space. Um, I kind of like this fountain here, but I also a little bit hate the fact that it's just on the ground. This is the one part that I'm not jazzed about. I don't know what we should do here. What are our thoughts about this fountain situation? You think Jack would also like the Frosted Heights? I think so. Anyone here playing the new Switch game Fashion Dreamer? Oh, I haven't checked that one out. I remember seeing that on a Nintendo Direct ages ago and thinking I should keep track of it, but I clearly didn't. I might have to look into that. Uh, can you see the Something Wicked Dream Snap? Let me see if I can pull it up. I know I have it in a folder. It's just a matter of how easy it is for me to track down. I think it shouldn't be too hard, hopefully. I did it sort of last minute, so just keep that in mind. <laughs> uh, was this it? Yeah. Okay, let me see. Mm, which window? Here? Yeah. Okay, this was my Something Wicked submission. It's uh, Evil Queen inspired, obviously. And I like it for the most part. I would have liked to spend a little bit more time on it, but it is what it is. I think it's cute. I think it's fine. It's fun. It's fresh. Don't forget to drink the coffee, tea, water. I know. Listen, <laughs> I have tea. It's already cold, but that surprises no one, I'm sure. Uh, maybe a bench, one from the fairy godmother. Ooh, that might be nice. Let me actually try that. Would be nice if we had a candy fencing and a fountain of chocolate to decorate with. Ooh, that would be nice. Yeah, when we got these, uh, lollipop trees, it would have been nice if we had, like, a half height of this that was, like, a lollipop fence. That would have been pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. Um, okay. Cinderella... Actually, it's not going to fix all of our problems, but it actually might make it more tolerable. Might just surround it. Mm, 
Let's see. Wait, the pose? Wait, why? Me looking angrily at the mirror? <laughs> I feel like it's relatable. Uh, the fountain is weird. You can put things inside it. Yeah, it's kind of weird that things can go inside it, but I've seen people do cool things with that. But it's weird that you can't put it on path. Although, to be fair, also the giant one that I have down in the plaza... Uh, you can't put that one on paths. I'm gonna come back up here because I feel like I might actually need to add some bushes with that fountain. Something about it just feels a little bland. Um, but it's still annoying that you can't put it on the path. And at least this one has, like, a really large stone base to it. This one here. But yeah, I don't know why it won't let us put these on paths. Hi, JJ. Hello, hello. How are you? It's not going to fix all of our problems, but it might actually make it more tolerable. You with ice cream? Honestly, big mood. <laughs> it's my outlook with a lot of things, honestly. I tend to be a bit of an avoider of my problems, so... Things that are not going to fix it, but might make me feel slightly better are... A big go-to for me. Let's see. Ooh. Hmm. Do we put the bushes in the corners? Or do we use, like, these? Or the smaller ones of these? The reason I like the flower ones is because it kind of blocks the path a little bit. But it also blocks the benches. Pros and cons. Pros and cons. Yes, it feels like I'm about to break into a song. Oh my goodness. I mean, that's not outside of the realm of possibility for me on any given day at any given time. So... Kind of checks out. Stay there. You go back there. You go back there. I think I like this better. Oh, we are so close to 100 likes. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. If you ever get the expansion pass, Jafar is going to stay there. I wonder what Jafar's house is going to be, though. Actually, I just rewatched Aladdin and also um, Aladdin 2. Return of Jafar, and he doesn't have a house, so I don't really know what's going to happen with that. I like this a lot better now, I think. Do we like this better with the bushes? I feel like something about, like, the snow popping through and just, like, the square around it was not giving, and I feel like this is giving a little bit more. Me avoid problems? No. Yes, actually. <laughs> Doing good. Doing something scary and uploading your Animal Crossing custom codes to the portal, but having a nice chill evening. Listen, I only a little bit know what that means, and mostly I don't. But congratulations on doing something scary. That usually is not fun, but is nice afterwards. Okay, I think we're good here, actually. We can do a quick run around here and see if there's anything we want to change over here, but I feel like I was pretty happy with this side of the Frosted Heights, so... Um, except this. I don't know what I'm doing here, but I could always just, like, leave this area. I don't really love this, like, bench and thing, but we could end up putting the ice skating pond here that we get from the star path. That might be kind of nice. I think we're good. Hey, Anna. What does your letter say? Are you going to read it or... Nope, just catching another one? Okay. Uh, maybe we can decorate one of the ha like rooms in the... Sweet house, actually. 
Love it even more with the bushes. I think it really pulls it together. I am a fan. Okay, so here's the situation in this house. Um, I kind of know what I want to do with the rooms. In this room, I want to have Yes's office from Ralph Breaks the Internet. That's what I want here, which is why I made my interpretation of Yes to stand, being a girl boss in this office. In this room, I think I'm going to want to do like a little ice cream shop or like a bakery sort of a situation. The fountain is so much better now. Oh, thank you, Grace. I, I agree. You would assume him staying in the castle, but good point. What kind of house is he going to have? Right? Because I would feel like Aladdin and Jasmine would move into the castle when we get them. So I don't know. Um, Jafar's house should be the lamp. Just a tiny version of the lamp. Not even like a giant one, like house sized. <laughs> that would be awesome. Um, this room, I want to be, what did I want this to be? Oh, I wanted this to be like a gaming room, like arcade sort of thing. Because we got a lot of gaming items, especially in the Wreck-It Ralph collection. And then this room, I think I want to be like, I don't know, just like a computer lab, <laughs> which sounds kind of lame, but I feel like we could make it pretty cool. Uh, that's sort of what I want this room to be. Secrets about me in Honest Letter. Oh no, that doesn't sound good. You made your sweet house into a full-on bakery diner style. That's amazing. You wonder if in the expansion pack there will be a vegetable or fruit that sells for more coins and pumpkins. That's what I was wondering. I don't know. You're getting a lot of inspiration for your valley. Awesome. Um, thanks for lurking, Prib. I hope you're having a great time. I think... I don't know. What do we want to do? Let me... Actually, I'll just do a poll. Because one thing about me, I don't like making decisions. Uh, <laughs> what, what room should we decorate? Uh, question mark. Yes's office? I do believe Madam Yes is spelled with two S's. Um... Bakery slash ice cream shop. Mm, arcade thing. I don't know. Or it's going to be kind of like a computer cafe. That sounds fancier than a computer lab. <laughs> Which one should we do? A hundred likes? No way. Three S's? Wow, I'm such a fake fan. Thank you for correcting me, Prib. Well, now my shame is visible for all to see, so. Welcome back, Kristen. Let me run around for a second. Oh, let me go to Beast's uh, greenhouse and pick up those flowers while people cast their votes. Okay, thank you, Beast. Appreciate ya. You finally watched Princess and the Frog and it was amazing. I'm glad you liked it. I feel like it's incredibly underrated. It's so good. We can also see if Moana has anything for me. I also don't think I've picked Wally's Garden since Wednesday. So maybe we should do that as well. Hmm. I'm wondering if we're going to be able to move. Well, I feel like we should be able to. I was going to say, I wonder if we can move our main house to Eternity Isle and then just have the game boot us up there instead of in the main valley. Ma'am, pick the carrot. Hi, Rageful Games. How are you? Wow, the bakery ice cream shop is winning by a lot. And interestingly, that's the thing that I have the least ideas about. So <laughs> we'll have to see how we're able to pull that one off. 
Okay, Miss Man. You're really pulling up these crops like you have all the time in the world. Okay, you know what? We're changing. Wait, what? No! I thought it was going to be faster if I, like, tried to do them individually, but... Okay, now it is. She, like, really is not enjoying this, though. Hi, Christian. How are you? You always love arcades. Have great memories of the arcade from your childhood. I don't know if I really went to very many arcades when I was growing up. But, um, in the last city that I lived in, there were some really fun arcades, and I went sometimes with, like, my partner or my friends, and they were fun. Glad holding doesn't work for others, too. You thought it was just you. It's really weird, because sometimes I'll log on, and it's fine, and then other times... When I'm in the game, it just will not work, and I don't know why. It doesn't seem to be that there's any rhyme or reason or anything. Okay, let's head back to Frosted Heights. You're not looking forward to doing your dream snaps because you restarted your account and only have your star path and premium shop items and some random furniture. Oh my goodness, you restarted your save? Wow. I don't know if I could ever do that. Like, I fully could have a secondary save, but I don't know if I could take this save and just wipe it back to, like, square one. I don't think I could do that. Oh. Oh, that's a little annoying. Oh, wait, what? Okay, I mean, I guess that's kind of realistic, but also annoying. I can walk under the branch of this tree... But if I try to walk this way, I run into the tree. Okay, well. Is what it is. Hi, Gabby, how are you? You've returned to the bed. Because 46 degrees, oh my goodness. Yeah, it's pretty cold here today as well, actually. Okay, we're going to end the poll. We have a clear winner. Oh, people are still voting. Actually, you know what? I'm going to give you all a couple minutes. I'm, I'm going to give you two minutes to vote. <laughs> Uh, that'll be 3.55 my time. And then we'll start doing whatever we're doing. Um, what was I saying? Oh, it's quite cold where I live as well. It, I, I think it's like 55 degrees. But last week it was 80. And by the end of the week, I think it's going to be up to like 75 again. Which just doesn't make any sense to me. And I'm a little bit mad about it. Maybe turn the tree. I don't think I'll be able to because I think it's kind of slotted in very specifically to the items next to it. And if I rotate it, it's going to throw everything like it's not going to be able to fit there anymore. I'll just occasionally bump my head as I'm trying to get to the backyard, but that's fine. You restarted your game like two times already? Oh my goodness. I mean, I redo my biomes a fair amount, but I don't think I could restart the entire game. Have to collect everything all over again? Mm -mm -mm. It's not for me. Hi, Ariel. How are you? No worries, Messine. Thank you for lurking. I appreciate it. Wonder what Shank and the Slaughter Race what what? I didn't see what that said. I'm so sad. I really want to get Shank in the game. She's an icon. Ooh, okay, okay. Nope, still the bakery and ice cream. Okay, well, you know what? <laughs> I gave it a chance for the turns to table. And poll. Whoa, by a crazy margin as well. All right, good times. You redo your amusement park a lot. You can't find a way that you love yet. Yeah, I ended up getting rid of my amusement park because of that reason. I didn't really like it. 
that much and I didn't really know how to salvage it so yeah it just ended up getting getting shooed shooed aside you still have to finish all of your quests on your PS4. Oh my goodness. Did you like just start or just restart? Let's see what things I want. Hmm, I'm trying to think. Just off of the top of my head if there's anything that I know I want. I think I'm going to want the pink appliances. We'll probably do a little bit. Oh, no. <laughs> I only have like one of each appliance. So I'm going to have to jot this down to remind myself that I used it. Pink flat top stove. And the pink fridge. Wait, do I want the del I want the deluxe pink fridge. Yeah, that's fancier. I think I'm gonna try to have like the back section or a back corner set up with like cooking stuff. And then maybe like tables and such around the front. I think, I think, I think. Is there a way to get rid of tree trunks in your valley? Um, yes, um, you have to progress in Anna's storyline, like Anna's quest line, I mean. She will eventually upgrade your shovel for you so then you can get rid of the tree trunks. Or the little stumps. Um, I think I also want to have like a little ice cream stall in here. Maybe the light blue one. Can't wait to hang out with Aladdin and maybe we'll get a boo for an, a companion. I actually, listen. I don't really think we're getting Aladdin in the first half of the year. Is it possible? Sure. But I think the things that I've seen on the roadmap and for the expansion, it doesn't actually seem like we're getting him. Maybe I'll use both of these. And I also need the pink ice cream stand. Let me write that down. You want King Candy because of how good his backstory was and you liked how evil he was? Yeah, King Candy is pretty cool. I don't know if I actively want him in the game, but he is pretty cool. Yeah, I think we're going to do something like this, maybe. Ooh, you want to know what I wonder? What? <laughs> I was about to say a lot of words that we're not going to make a lot of sense. I wonder if the Buzz, like, RV stuff would look good back here. Hmm. It might. I don't know. The only thing I'm not 100% sold on is, like, the wood top for the counter. I kind of feel like a white top for the counter might be a little nicer. Let's see what we can find. Let's see actually about the islands that we have. Are the islands under the tables? I think they are. Or I mean the L counters rather. Oh, the L counters. You accidentally restarted last November, and while you were heartbroken at first, you're glad you restarted. The nice thing about restarting, though, is that you keep all of your Founders items and the Star Path items that you got, and, like, the Premium Shop items. So that's good. It definitely is still a lot to restart, but at least it's not like you lose all of those exclusive items. Hmm... I don't think I can do this because I want to extend this all the way this way, I think. Unless I could find something that was going to look cute here that doesn't specifically match. I don't know if that makes sense. It kind of makes sense to me, though. 
I like the idea of having these tables out. So I might try to do those. Um, I always love the idea of a little coffee cart, so we might try to do that. You're upset we only have zero puppy in fox form. Yeah, hopefully eventually we can get the actual zero added to the game, but I'm not sure. I don't know. Yeah, that's not going to be that cute, though, especially since it doesn't line up. It's not the same height. What about the counters? Are the counters the same height? They are. Maybe I can find just like a white counter. Just like... And it's just so stark against this. I don't know. That doesn't line up that way. But it does that way. But it's not the same... Oh my... Wait! That lines up that way, though. Hold up. But part of me feels that it's not going to line up the other way. We're just in the experimental area right now. Hot chocolate stand. I don't know if I want one of those in here. I do not know. No! Why must you be this way? <laughs> why? Why? Everything in this game is just like a little bit inconvenient, you know? And it feels like that's rude to me. Okay. <laughs> okay, uh, undo, 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 undo. Okay. We could just... I mean... <laughs> We could leave that open, which might be kind of weird. We could put a plant there. You wish we could have more than one save? You can. You can have more than one save on the same system. Um, I know on Switch, if you use different accounts, you can have the same, or you can have multiple games on the same system. Also, you can have more than one cloud save, even if you're using the same Switch account just create a new cloud save. So it's definitely possible in different ways. Um, what about this? No. And if I move it one more over, it's gonna be too far over. I don't know if that makes sense to anyone else, but it makes sense to me. What if I just put this like that? No, because I kind of want this. Actually, you know, I suppose I should probably figure out what I'm doing back here. I think I am actually going to use these. I felt kind of weird about the wood top counter. And I a little bit still do, but I do a little bit less considering the fact that this island has wood at the bottom. And it's kind of a very similar color to this. So I think it's fine. Recommend finishing the quest first before decorating or doing both at the same time. I feel like whichever you want is going to be fine. Uh, my usual gaming style is questing first and then decorating afterwards, but that's really just my preference. And I know a lot of people decorate as they go, and that's their preference, so I think whatever you would like to do. Do I want to just have that, like, there? No, I kind of want this to be higher. Maybe that can go up against that, like that, though? I need a sink. Or we don't, because this is all make-believe. <laughs> but, in theory, we need a sink. 
which are probably under utilities, actually. Cherry blossom tree? Maybe. I kind of just want to get, like, the core layout done before doing too, too much decorating. A cherry blossom tree might be nice here, actually, though. I don't know. We'll figure it out. You only have a PC and you don't think you can have more than one on PC. You can have more than one cloud save on PC. And even if you only have one cloud save, you can have more than one save. Because I have one cloud save right now and one local save on PC. So you definitely can. You can, you can. Um, We have this one. Is it weird? Yes, it is. But you know what? Do I care? Is I was going to say, is it weird to have a sink right next to a stove? And it is. So, you know what? Let me move this over here instead. We'll do that. I kind of want to move this over now, though, because I feel like it's not lined up and that's making me kind of unhappy. Yeah. And then do I have a counter I could put here? I know we have like a standing shelf from this collection or like, yeah, a shelf or like cupboard kind of thing that stretches pretty tall, but I don't know if I want to use that. So let's just see what we can do with this. The shirt is so cute on the mannequin. Oh, thank you. I made it. <laughs> it was the simplest shirt ever. This one, the pink one is messed up because touch of magic is rude, but... Uh, yeah, I can fix it pretty easily. Those ones were not too bad. I think I made those in anticipation of Vanellope coming. I have this one. But I don't think I want that one. Hmm, do we not have just like a normal cupboard? That's rude. We have this one. But I don't know if I want this like green and dark blue situation. You move there for a second. It also doesn't line up, which is kind of rude. And even if I pull it forward, it still is not aligned. So I don't think I want that. Remove. What if I put you down here? And another one on top of you. Kind of dramatic. I don't think I like it. Did we really not get regular ca like cabinets with this? So strange. I need to just like sit with this for a second and decide what I'm doing. Um, I also I think I want these here. Although I might change my mind. You might just get a Switch to get another save. I would not recommend buying a Switch just to get another save. I would recommend just making another one on PC. Wait, what? Put the ice cream stand there? Slide the counter over? Wait, I don't know what we're talking about anymore. Hmm. We also, I need to remember, don't have the right wallpaper up right now. And we don't have the flooring, so things sometimes look weird when that happens. Do we have any, like, pink bar stools? I don't think we do. We don't really have a lot of pink items in-game. We have these, which are really cute, and we have these, which are potentially cute. Put in some windows. I will. <laughs> I will. We're getting there. Don't worry. There's just a process. Yep. 
I think I want... these set up here. Or like... this. Can I get back there? Probably not. In which case, I want to move this up a little bit. <laughs> this is the biggest the room gets. It's in the um, premium shop house, and this is also the largest size of room anywhere. The star stools are your fave. You use them everywhere. There's a chair too. I know. I really like the star stools. They're pretty nice. I think this is going to end up working. I really do. Just got to have faith in the process. Can I get back here if I wanted to? Yes. Okay. You love how this is looking so far? Thank you. I feel like all of my rooms are usually like, um, it takes a while to get where we're going, but we, we do get there in the end. Can't upgrade premium shop house rooms. Yeah. They're also just all the largest size though. Anyway, let's get rid of this. Um, I do think I want to use those eventually, but somebody brought up the cherry blossom tree and I think they were talking about using it here and I think I like that idea. Not 100% sure yet, but I think I do. Oh, except for the fact that it clips into the wall, but we can just pretend that doesn't happen maybe. And we'll put this somewhere else. And I'll probably move my mannequin back here. Not you, though. The other one. Or maybe they'll both be back here. This one can be working at the counter, and this one can be working at this counter. <laughs> the holographic stool has pink. Oh, yeah, the one from Wreck-It Ralph, actually. Why did that one not pop up? Unless I just wasn't paying attention to it. And it was in the pink category. Hmm, actually, that, those ones might look nicer here. Let's see. Mm. I'm not sure yet, actually. I don't know. I think we need to decorate more of the room before I actually decide with that one. Is this for a dream snap? This is not. This is just in our premium shop house. And we're decorating it because I want to have all of the premium shop houses decorated. You know what? I kind of want to fit, but I don't know if it's going to fit both size-wise and also style-wise. Um, the one table that we get from the quest with Fairy Godmother, I think. Make something for Jack coming. I don't really like making things for characters that we don't have yet. Because I like to see them and what their houses are and that kind of thing before I decorate for them. Maybe we can put this up here. We, uh, I don't know. It's just like such a fancy table, but it's a nice table. Half of your meadow is complete. It has Mickey and his friends' houses, but you're completely stuck on what to put on the other side. Sometimes it can be hard to fill out the, uh, the biomes for sure. I feel like I kind of want to use these tables. I 
wish we had more stylized tables, but like of different varieties, if that makes sense. Because we have a lot of tables that are like large, regular white tables or wood tables or that kind of thing. And we have some that are stylized, like from the Cinderella set or things, or we have some from the Tangled set and the Frozen set. But I wish we had more that were not quite basic. but not quite plain, if that makes sense. This is going to be too red, I think. I wouldn't mind a wooden table. What premium shop house am I decorating? I'm decorating the sweet house, the candy one. If you decorate a premium shop house and move it, do the rooms stay the same? They do. You can even put it in your inventory, like put it away and not have it used. And then when you take it out later and place it again, it'll still be decorated the same way. A large glass table? I don't know. I don't want this one. I would like a like display table. I'm just trying to figure out what table to use. You wish they would let us order more of certain quest items? Agreed, agreed. Mm. We have this dark wood dining table. Might use one of those. We have this that matches this counter. Or it should, so the color would at least be right. Hmm. Let's see. Let's grab out this wooden dining table. This is small. I don't know. What's our opinion about this Cinderella thing? I think it's probably a no-go. But we'll see. You move. I don't want you. We could do like two of these over here. Or we could try to do... Um... What's about this one? No, not that one. Where's the food table from? It's from Fairy Godmother's quest line. Getting a weird glitch where you can't sit in Sully's purple armchair. Interesting. I haven't heard of that one. You can get more of the balloon items from the showcase. You can buy them from Scrooge. Large dark wood dining table. No. Do I have a large regular wood dining table? Large wooden dining table? So I think it's either going to be this one or... A couple of these. And actually, I think it's going to be a couple of these. And I might have them set up in the corner here. And maybe we'll pop, like, another cherry blossom tree in there or something. Maybe, maybe. Hi, Yuri. How are you? Do I have a favorite premium house? That's difficult because I like all of them. Um, I really love the Mushroom Manor. That one would probably be my favorite if, um, if, 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 I'm trying to think of the if, <laughs> if the grass changed colors to match the biome that you place it in. I think that would make it my favorite. Um, I really love the beach house. That's a nice one. Obviously the palace. I don't know, they're all very nice. I don't know if I could pick a favorite. Let me grab a couple more of these tables. If I have more. One, okay, I need... 
probably a couple more of those. Let me go buy a couple more. Where did I put Wally's house? I currently have him up with Scar in the Sunlit Plateau. We can run that way um, before we go to Scrooge. Um, I originally had him in the meadow and I really liked him there. Then I moved him to Sunlit and he's going to go to the desert, uh, the Glittering Dunes probably once we get the expansion. But I have him over here. I think it's set up pretty cute. It's a little bit hiding Scar's house, which was kind of the point. And yeah, I just have like a little setup for him here. You like the glass table? Hmm. I can look at it again. Hopefully they start putting house skins in the star path. I highly doubt it. Because those are like the most expensive items from the premium shop. And I feel like they probably take a lot of work, but you never know. Um, what do I need? Tables, tables. You love the mushroom one? You were just typing it. Oh, when I said that, yeah, the mushroom one is really good. It's really, really cute. It's also not too giant, which I appreciate. A lot of the premium shop houses are like very large and it can make it difficult to find where to put them. Bye bye. What do the Wanderer booths look like? Would those go well? Um, they're cute, but I don't think I want them in that room. Because I like the blue, but I don't want the blue to be like the main color. I think I have the Wanderer booths in my premium, like in my beach house. Let me check. Then you can see them up close a little bit better. I think I have them in here. I do. Yeah, this is what they look like. I also don't really love the teal on the pillows. I don't think I want that color in there. But they're very, very cute seats. And I like them a lot. You wonder how we're going to be able to fit all character houses in our valleys when there's a ton more characters added. Um, I feel like... What do I feel like? Well, I think that's going to be part of the appeal of the expansion passes because it seems like they're going to be bringing new, at least this one is bringing a new map where you can also put character houses. And from some of the things that they were saying in the showcase, it seems like future ones might also bring new maps as well. Um, if people don't buy the expansion passes, I feel like at some point they're probably going to have to give the option to move people out. But I don't know if that's something that's actually going to happen or not. Let me move these for now. Uh, I think I might actually want to use... Mm, I don't know. I was thinking about using the star chairs. But I don't know if I want to. Hmm. Do you want to use, like, just make a little sitting area over here? Kind of. You move over here. No, why can't you fit in this corner? That would be so cute. Okay, well, <laughs> then you move. I don't know. Just right here. That's fine. That's fine. Bye, Christian. Okay. Um. Let me grab out another one of those donut chairs. Trying to decide, I would like to use one of these large tables, but I don't know if I'm going to have the room for it. So we might just have to do the smaller ones.
I don't know. There? Maybe we could do something like this? I don't know. Move people out getting too crowded? I mean, maybe. I think it would probably be a while, though, until that would happen. Because even though a lot of people feel like we're running out of space, and to a certain extent, I also feel that way, I think there's a lot more space in the valley than a lot of people give it credit for. And yeah, it's nice to spread everybody out and have them have a lot of space for the houses and things like that, but there is a lot of space in the valley. So I think we could fit a lot more houses before they decide to give us an option to move people out. I need more of those pink poofs. Need more of the pink poofs. Not that song, Kitty. <laughs> Absolutely not that one. The beach is hard to use. I agree that the beach is hard to use. That's not what I wanted. I wanted the map. I want to go to Scrooge's. Give him some more of my money. You still have tons of space, but you don't decorate too much. You just think they should maybe make the outside of homes a little smaller. It would be nice if the homes were a little bit smaller. But like, oh wait, no, that's not going to work. <laughs> um, I have my valley really decorated, but at the end of the day, the only home I have here... Like, I have three buildings here that I need. All of the rest of this is just decoration. Like, this is a premium shop house. I don't even need that. So there's all of this space that I could decorate differently if I needed to fit people here. I have houses here, right? But all of this space that I could still potentially use if I decorated differently. And this is a premium shop house, so all of this space too. Like, my entire glade is empty. The only buildings I have here are premium shop houses. So does that make sense? Like, I could easily fill the valley up, but we do have a lot of space. Like Sunlit, I have my main house and this house. I have two homes back here, and I have Simba and Nala over here, but all of the rest of this is essentially empty space that I could fill with something else if I decorated differently. So, like, it's fun to decorate. I love being able to decorate, like, big open areas that don't have houses. But we have a lot of space for houses if we needed to make space. Good day to you. Is it stuck in my head now? A little bit. <laughs> a little bit. You're hoping Ancient's Landing is more boardwalk-like? It does look like it's pretty narrow, kind of like the beach we have right now. But... In my opinion, at least, Ancient's Landing is sacred ground, and I don't think I'm going to be putting anybody there, so I'm not too worried about that. Let me buy, like, ten of these. That's a lot. <laughs> I have the hiccups. I'm buying eight of these instead, and I'm buying one of these. Okay. Where did I get the gazebos Bye -bye, in my plaza? You craft them at the crafting station. I think one of the, I think you have to have the Forgotten Lands open to have the recipe for it because I think they need diamonds to craft. It's almost a lot of water. You wonder how much we actually have access to. Yeah, I wonder if we're going to be able to go out into the water, like if it's going to be shallow in Ancient's Landing. Woody, nice try. You almost got me. Um... But it also seems like there's going to be a whole secret area to Ancient's Landing that we can't explore until Chapter 2 of the expansion comes. And I feel like possibly geographically that part would be under the water, but I don't know. I do not know. Was that from Beauty and the Beast? Yeah. Yeah. I think it's mainly glass. I think you do need glass, but I think you also need dry wood and diamonds. I could be wrong. 
I don't know if I even want to use these for all of the tables or just some of them. I think I just want to use them for some of the tables. Maybe I'll use the star chairs from the Toy Story collection on the other tables. No. Star stools? No. Maybe I will just use those pink ones, or maybe I'll just cut down the number of tables I have. You come here. There we go. Mmm, seating. There we go. You need the coffee cart? Oh my goodness, I use the coffee cart all the time. I hope you get it soon. It's a really lovely item. Not you. Okay. You. Move that way. Okay. We need some more art for the walls. We also need to figure out what windows we're going to use. Um... What windows do we think? I use these everywhere, but they're so good. Diamonds, glass, dry wood, and crystals. Okay. Yeah, I thought so. I was like, I'm pretty sure you didn't unlock the recipe until you got to the Forgotten Lands because of the diamonds. I don't know. What windows? What windows? The water tower was so many resources. Oh my goodness, it was. So many resources. We have the paint windows, which are cute, but don't really make much sense. We have these little ratatouille windows, which are kind of nice. The tea set? I don't think I want to use the tea set in here. It's very gold and very ornate. And I don't know if that's quite the vibe. I've definitely gotten a lot of use out of that, though. Ooh, the snowy festive window. That was a really tough one. I don't know, I just love these windows and I want to use them, but they don't look good with other windows. So I'm not sure what to do, what to do. The one thing about these windows is that the setting that it looks out on is not very snowy. Ooh, wait, are all of the snowy windows that we have super festive or do we have some that are just kind of generic snowy windows? You love the window to Paris. I also love the window to Paris. It's a very nice window. I have it in my kitchen in my main home. These windows are cute, but they also don't look like windows. I don't know if that makes sense. They look more like wall art.
Maybe we can have those in the corners there. I don't like hate the idea of having these back here. I don't know. <laughs> this is a mess. The cherry blossom windows. The cherry blossom windows are nice, but they're just very large. And I don't know that the carvings on them are the vibe for this room. I do not know. Um... I think another big thing that would be really helpful is if we could adjust the height of the windows. Oh, I don't have any of those arched windows. Well, that's rude of me. Oh, I do, actually. Maybe I'll do some of these. I also don't need a million windows. I just really love windows. Why can't you go here? Uh, uh, I think that's a weird glitch. You don't like the big spacing at the top of the cherry blossom in the windows? Wait, I don't- what? I don't know what you mean, but I'm very- <laughs> my thing just disappeared. Okay, there we go. That fixed whatever was happening, which is nice. Okay. Not you. I wanted this window. I don't mind a combo of these two types of windows. I think that's fine. Okay, let's move you. We can probably make it work. It's also possible that once I actually figure out what wallpapers I'm using, all of this is not going to make sense. Like, none of this is going to make sense. So I'm just going to not worry about it too much right at this moment. And we'll just do that kind of a thing. Has the potato saga continued yet? The potato saga is complete, yes. Um, there's the gold, blue, green, orange, purple potatoes. Red. I think that's it. And then, uh, yeah, they all turn into a rainbow potion. And then there's an exciting thing that happens after that. Okay, let me look at wallpapers. I don't know if I'm fully committed <laughs> to using this wallpaper. I feel like I should use it on at least one wall, right? I don't know. Is there... I don't like that one. For now, I feel like we should use this on one wall and find something different for the other walls. Oh, the gap between the wall and the top of the windows. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I thought you meant something like inside the window because you know how it has the tree in there? I thought you were talking about something in there and I was like, I don't really look inside those windows enough to really know what you're talking about. Uh... We could do just a simple pink wallpaper on the other walls. I wish we had a little bit more flexibility with the wallpapers, because if I use like a full wall wallpaper like this, I don't really want this trim coming 
there. You know what I mean? Uh, there's also like a white brick wall. That, I mean, it's called like a white brick wall, but it's got a bit of a pinkish hue to it. And I wonder if that would look nice. Where do I have that? Um, I mean, this is kind of, well, no. Nah. You use the cake wallpaper for a Christmas room to sort of give a candy cane feel. That's nice. I need to find, I think it is called the white brick wall. Do I... It's the one that I have in the main room of this house right now. So I know I have it. Large... Wait, is it this? It's this. Why is this called gray? Do I want to use this? It's just so hard to use this wallpaper. <laughs> this one with any other wallpapers. If I do use that wallpaper, I feel like I actually don't need windows there. And what do we think about this? And if we hate it, what do we think we should use instead of this? Let me start looking for some art. You know it's random, but last night you watched Ryan the Last Dragon. You notice the wallpaper from game you're pretty sure is from it. The diamond with teal and gold. Really? I watched that movie sort of recently, but I don't remember any of the like specific wallpapers or anything from it. That's pretty cool though. I'm looking for the picture of Vanellope that's different than it looks in the icon. I don't know what the mosaic wallpaper is. Mosaic wallpaper? Hmm. I don't know. I almost want to do like... Just something very... Plain? like this but I don't know like it just needs paintings on the walls it might just need art on the walls I don't know we also don't have anything on the tables that's gonna kind of bring it together eventually it's just it's just a little bit of a work in progress Don't mind the cake wall, it gives Wonka vibes. I don't mind the cake wall. I like the idea of the cake wall. I'm just struggling with what to do on the other walls. I don't want to do like all cake wall, I think. Unless we do just want to do all cake wall. I don't know. Do we hate the all cake wall? Do we just embrace the cake wall? <laughs> like, I don't know. What about the floor? Hi, Disco Dreamlight. How are you? You love it so far? Thank you, Rageful. It's a work in progress. That's what I always say. I don't know if I'm ready to commit to this floor tile, though, if we go with this wallpaper. 
I think that's just too much. I feel like we could maybe do one or the other. Wait, why are these opposite? That's very rude. Give me a second to switch this to something else. Not this. You could do like something like this. Okay, do we want candy wall or candy floor? Which one do we prefer? All cake wall is a bit much. I agree, I agree. Cake wall and brick. Like the floor. Or a pink wall. We do have a pink wall, don't we? There are like simultaneously too many and also not enough options. Does anyone else feel that way with things like... We have a lot of options, but we also don't have enough options. What do we think about this? Do we hate this? <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't know. I don't know if we hate it. I think for what it is, it might be fine. I think we just need to keep doing what we're doing. Oh, you know what we don't have anywhere? Rugs. And the rugs might bring it a little bit over the top, but I feel like... this might be another moment where we just have to embrace the fact that this is not your everyday room that I would put in my own house. However, I think I a little bit hate these. Let me see about switching these out. Let me also write down pink sweet tooth rug because I need that. Pink sweet tooth rug. You need something specific and then you don't have it, but then there's also too much when you're looking for something. Exactly. Yeah, that's the way I feel. It's like there are a lot of things that don't quite fit what I want, but there's never something that's like exactly what I want. I think the purple and green of this is making me a little upset. And if that's actually not true, we can just switch them back. May I grab you, please? Listen, I think I prefer this. It's giving cat cafe vibes. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know how I feel about that. Walk out and back in and look. <laughs> that is my go-to. That usually does. Kind of, um... End up sealing the deal for me. No. You know what? I think I also, though, need to just, like, I need to bake a bunch of things and place them out and about, and I think that's going to help me decide whether I like it or not. What? I wouldn't put a pink ice cream kitchen in my house? You know what? I don't think I would. That might be a little bit of a tough sell. Embrace the candy in the candy house. And realistically, actually, this is going to be the only room that's got, like, strong candy themes in it. Besides, well, probably the arcade a little bit. But the other two are not. I'm just gonna make a bunch of desserts, honestly. So buckle in. 
It's a bakery, not like I'm sleeping in there, so might as well go crazy with the walls and floors. That's true, I guess. It's not hurting anybody. You think the floor is a bit too much now? I just need to like sit with it and see how I feel in a little bit. We're not making beignets because we can't step on Tiana's like territory. Is this the main room? It's not. This is one of the side rooms. Birthday cake. Sure, why not? You think the brick on the side walls would pop more? It's possible, but I feel like it might be a bit too much with the like checkered floor as well. We're just going to make the majority of these things, I think. There aren't that many desserts, right? <laughs> that feels like famous last words. Um, but then we'll have options. Love a good option. Uh, we don't need caramel apples, so we'll do some carrot cake. That'll be fun. We'll do, ooh, cheesecake. Now I want cheesecake. Hmm. What are the chances that I can talk my partner into bringing home some cheesecake after work? <laughs> Let's see. Chocolate waffles, coconut boba tea. Does anybody else get just like really hungry going through the food in this game? I definitely do. And some of the food, it doesn't look that appetizing. Some of it looks real good though, and it makes me really hungry. Am I decorating the whole place today? You love this build? I'm not gonna be decorating the whole place. We'll be um, finishing this room and then we'll probably wrap up the stream after that. But we'll get to the rest of this house by the time the update comes around. But honestly, I was pretty happy that we finished the entire Frosted Heights, like the second half of it. And getting another room done on top of it is Pretty sweet. I will take that. Definitely not hurting Queen Tiana by making beignets. Good option. Yeah, like, I will make them in-game if I have to, but listen. This is not the place for that. That's for Tiana's restaurant, which hopefully she'll get, because otherwise... We riot. <laughs> but peacefully riot. <laughs> Peacefully riot with words. Did I make this ice cream? I can't remember. Uh, meringue pie, sure. You love watching Golden Girls when you get cheesecake? Listen, I actually don't think I've ever seen Golden Girls before, which is embarrassing to admit, but it is in fact true. You wish you could cook as good in real life as you can in this game, oh my goodness. See, I'm actually, I'm a pretty good cook. I just don't like cooking that much. Today I was smart, because today I, I put food in the slow cooker f so that everything's going to be pretty much ready by the time stream is over. It's not going to be dinner time quite yet, but... I don't know, sometimes, especially if stream goes late, I get off and then I'm like, hmm... I still have to figure out what I'm making for dinner, and it's a whole thing. But today we got it taken care of. Plain snow cone, sure. You don't think there's such a thing as a peaceful riot? There is for me. You liked the food designs better in Kingdom Hearts 3 and fin Final Fantasy. Oh, I haven't played Kingdom Hearts 3. I haven't played Final Fantasy, any of them. 
that one looked a little wonky. That red fruit sorbet looked like it was melted. Root beer. Gotta love a slow cooker. Exactly. I mean, we went through a little bit of a tough time. Um, my slow cooker and I, after I watched part of This Is Us. But, you know, <laughs> we've moved past it. We're feeling better. Our relationship is uh, back and better than ever. Especially once it starts to get colder. You can make, like, hot soups and things. Yummy. Yummy, yummy. Logistics question. How am I reading comments so fast? So, actually, I'm usually very behind on comments. Um, <laughs> I usually am very behind on comments, but I stream with two monitors. So, I have my game on my horizontal monitor to the left. And then to the right, I have a vertical monitor with um, YouTube Studio and with Streamlabs so I can check the comments just really quickly and also make sure everything is good with stream. We have way too many things to actually use in here, but I just want to have options so we can pick the things that look prettiest. Oh, hey. Wow. That was perfect, uh, perfect maths. Okay, we're gonna drop all of these, if we can. Again, we might run out of space, but, uh, are you an icon or are you invisible? I don't know. The icon itself is not showing up, but I wonder if the item itself will... We will riot for our girl Tiana. We will. Root beer floats sound so good right now, right? Root beer floats for me are so nostalgic. My grandma, when we went to visit, the couple of desserts that she would make for us were, well, desserts in like quotation marks, I guess. I mean, they are, right? Uh, sometimes she would do root beer floats and sometimes she would do chocolate malted shakes. Both of which are incredibly delicious. I feel like I should put this here. Very large and fancy. Or I could put it over here. Might put it over here. This is us is so sad. You cried a lot. Um, yes. I haven't finished watching the whole show. I want to because it's so good. But literally, I I don't know. I have this thing where if I haven't watched something for a while, I have to restart it. I can't like watch it from where I left off because I know I'm like I'll forget things. So with this is us, I always try to restart it. And then I make it through the first season or like the first season and a half and I cry every episode without fail. And then I'm like, I need a break. This is too difficult emotionally. And then I just never come back to it. And then I just start over again <laughs> and watch like the first two seasons again. So it's, it's a roller coaster. I really do want to watch it though, because it's so good. Maybe we'll put this here. Would I ever consider doing a gaming setup tour? Uh, I probably wouldn't anytime soon because it's pretty... Uh, I mean, it's not fancy. <laughs> it's... it works, but it's definitely not fancy. But maybe someday, I don't know. At some point, I would love to get a little bit better of a setup. But I just, you know, it's not in the budget right now. Hmm, what if we put this here, maybe? Not you casually chuckling over me reading comments so quickly. Yeah, I mean, the fact that I have it on the lowest latency possible helps because there's the least amount of delay possible on YouTube's end. Um, so your comments reach me as fast as possible, but sometimes I still don't get to look at them right away. Looks like Cloudy with a chance of meatballs watching the food drop. I've never actually watched that before. Is it good? The shock of the century is the fact that I actually might have enough space for all of this.
which I didn't think was going to happen. I mean, I don't know for sure, but... And in fact, I might actually need to make more things. Wouldn't that be wild? Planning on sneaking out to buy root beer float ingredients without your kids noticing? Do it. Do it. Do it so I can live vicariously through you. This pie can go, I don't know, here? Sure. No worries, kitty. No worries. What I need to use the tea kettle that we got as a gift from around. Ooh, you're so right. Thank you for reminding me of that. I always forget that exists. I will get that out and I'll pop it over here. I think it's just one tile. Wait, is it not under the Alice in Wonderland collection? Where is that item? Decor. Hmm. I might have to look it up on the wiki. I'm going to look it up on the wiki. Teapot? Small quirky teapot, it's called. Okay. And it's under... Traditional, elegant, dining room, simple, calm, delicate, familiar. There it is. Mm, actually, I feel like this should go back here. There we go. You do the same thing with series. It took you so long to finish Vampire Diaries because there's so much going on in one episode. So you just start over. Yeah, I do that all the time when I watch shows. It actually becomes a bit of a problem. Okay, let's put this here. We are getting there. Oh my goodness. Hunger levels are higher than ever. Okay, you can go back. You need to move so I can pick you up and put you over here. Oh, it was under Disney. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. That makes sense because I think it was like classified as a parks item. Okay, where do I want... I want to kind of like move some of these things around. Mm, but I think I like that back there. It's one of your fave items under Disney. Thank you. Thank you. Um, it was a funny mo movie. You were more a fan of the first one than the second one. You don't know how well it still holds up. That's fair. I, yeah, I feel like maybe my siblings watched it. I don't know if I was slightly too old for it, maybe. And I just wasn't really interested. I just know I haven't seen it. Hmm, I kind of want to switch this out with something else. But other than that, I think I actually like it. What do we think? I do think having all of the desserts out definitely makes me appreciate it more than I did before. I could make a couple more to put out, but I don't know. <laughs> We'd have some duplicates. 
which might be fine, but... The bakery looks so much better already. You're loving it. It does look better with the food out. Amazing how much of a difference that makes. I do need some, like, wall art or something. Vampire Diaries started to get on your nerves so you couldn't finish it. Uh, yeah. Vampire Diaries... <laughs> it definitely followed the pattern of many, many... CW shows where it just overstayed its welcome and then it became a lot because of that. Like it was a vibe for a while and then all of a sudden it was less of a vibe. I did end up finishing it but a little bit at what cost you know? Vibrant wall planter I need another one of those. Coffee? Oh, I could do coffee. That's true. Might need a fridge. I have a fridge, I think. Wait, did it delete? Oh, I have a fridge right here. Oh, the gray stuff is still on the floor. Oh my goodness. Wait, where? Oh, right there. How could I forget the gray stuff? I honestly don't know how I missed that. Too many things, I guess. Your husband and you started watching, oh, the U series. I watched the first season of it when I think it first came out. And I started watching the second season when the second season first dropped, but I never finished it. I'm not sure if I'm going to plan on going back and watching more. Maybe you should put this little shelf. Maybe we should put a couple of these. I know they have the same things on them, so it a little bit doesn't make sense to have two of them right next to each other, but I kind of want to. And maybe we could find one more thing to put over here by this Vanellope picture. Like Riverdale? Uh, yeah, I didn't make it very far into Riverdale at all. Maybe two seasons. Maybe I started the third season. I don't know. But I've heard many a thing about Riverdale and all of them make me a little bit raise an eyebrow. Like, hmm? <laughs> like, what? Hmm. The neon is not, like, the vibiest vibe, but it's all right. I might flip-flop these, though. Not flip-flop. Is this the bakery? It is. We are just about done with it. Bakery slash ice cream shop situation. Okay, I don't think I have a chocolate ice cream because I think I skipped over that one. So we can do that. And then I think, oh, we also don't have one of these blueberry pies, I don't think. And then we can do a coffee as well. Coffee would be good. What was the other thing I said I needed? Oh, the chocolate ice cream. You're on the second season of the new Quantum Leap. I don't think I know what that is. Uh, coffee. Oh, wait, I think it's in this one. And then we also have like an iced coffee and a mocha or something, right? Have I watched Gilmore Girls? I watched part of it, but listen. From what I've seen, this is not an unpopular opinion, so don't cancel me. Um, Rory got really annoying, which is a little bit sad to say because I a little bit feel like I am Rory Gilmore. I don't know, maybe in my old age, I, <laughs> I've turned a little bit more into Lorelei. 
but um yeah i don't know rory just started getting on my last nerve and i was like girl i can't do this anymore <laughs> you need an intervention mint tea oh yeah there is a mint tea also Okay, let's pop these up here. I might switch these around. And put you back. Oop, nope, there. And you there. Beautiful. You loved and finished all the shows mentioned. Riverdale mostly for the cast. <laughs> yeah, I didn't have the same issue with you as I did with, like, Riverdale and Vampire Diaries. Like, I stopped watching it for different reasons. I just, like, wasn't as interested in it anymore. It wasn't that I started to get, like, side-eyeing it. Okay, I think I like it. Let me leave and come back. But I don't know. Also, it's just a lot of effort and a lot of commitment to watch through shows from like 10 plus years ago because even like five plus years ago, but really in like the 10 year range, because those shows were 42 minute runtime, 20 episodes per season, and they ran for an eternity. And that's just like a lot of time to commit to something. Rory did get annoying. Okay. I'm glad I'm not the only one. I thought other people have said that. I'm not, like, in the Gilmore Girls fandom as such. I don't know if that's a thing. But I've heard whispers of people thinking Rory got annoying, and I just couldn't. I just couldn't put up with her. Um, I think this is good. I think this is our cafe. Not cafe, our bakery slash slash ice cream shop. Oh my goodness, it's that point in the day where I can't speak anymore. What are my feelings on Degrassi? Um, I wasn't allowed to watch it growing up, but when I was in high school, <laughs> uh, I did watch a little bit of it. But uh, yeah, I didn't like grow up on it. I did watch 90210 though, which had one of the actresses from Degrassi. Uh, and I felt about that the same way I felt about, like, Vampire Diaries. I watched all of it, but at what cost? Looks amazing. Thank you. Grey's Anatomy needs to stop already. I don't know. People love it. I've never watched it, but I know people do love it. My sister, like, one of my sisters. Wait, is it one of my sisters? Actually, I don't think she watched it, but her best friend is like a huge Grays fan. You love Vampire Diaries? You watched it five times? I could never. Not five times. Did I watch the originals? I watched part of the originals, um, but... I was just really trying to make it through the end of the Vampire Diaries, and that was a big struggle for me. So then by the time I was done, I was like, I'm done with this universe for now. <laughs> I think I watched a season and a half or two seasons of the originals. You think Once Upon a Time is really underrated? I loved Once Upon a... Well, listen, I loved Once Upon a Time for the first couple of... I don't know. I think the thing is, shows just need to stop while they're ahead. Once Upon a Time also lasted way longer than it needed to. But I did watch all of it except for the last season, but no one actually... <laughs> no one actually really cares about the last season. Um... <laughs> Thank you all for hanging out with me. I think we're going to end the stream here. This was a fun trip down memory lane for me, recalling all of those series that I watched usually when I was in college um, and really struggled through. Let me see <laughs> if anybody else is playing right now. Uh, you know what? Mara is playing. 
She's also doing some Valley prep. What are we playing tomorrow? I don't know. Most people wanted to see a new game. So I'm going to check out the new games that I have, see if there's anything that's really speaking to me, and I will schedule it tomorrow so you'll know tomorrow morning. Um, if you all have some time, please do stop by Mara's stream. It should just automatically send you over um, or give you an option to pop over there. Click like, uh, hang out for a little while. I'll probably be lurking while I finish up my slow cooker dinner. And I hope you all take care of yourselves. And I'll see you tomorrow or Wednesday when we play Dreamlight Valley again. Goodbye.